y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement as I am watching something new. Well, I should say it's new to me, but by popular requests, I'm starting episode one, season one of Lucifer, which I'm watching on Netflix. And what I found most fascinating was that the majority of the requests were coming from people who watched me with The Expanse. And The Expanse and Lucifer were shows that I didn't really think had a whole lot of crossover. What do we know about the show? Um, Tom Ellis plays Lucifer and he's detectiving and going through therapy. I think that's about, that's it. I think that's it. And yes, I'm aware that season six tanked. We'll see what happens when we get there. So because this is an episode one and a lot of you may be new to my channel, let me take a quick second just to say hi. Welcome. <laughs> When I am watching a show, I am looking at goal, motivation, conflict, plot, 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 dialogue. I love dialogue, characters. You and I are going to react to things differently because we have led different lives. And that's okay. That's why you like watching these reaction channels, which I should specify because I've seen it way too often in a comment. Um, this is a reaction channel. It's not a recap or synopsis, although I do a little recapping too much. But copyright, y'all, I can't, I can't show you the whole show. But if you do want to see the whole show with me beginning to end, um, full episode watch long is available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. So I think housekeeping is done. We're ready. You're ready for me to get started. So I got the big cozy blanket. I also have my glass of menage a trois on hand. I hope you have whatever your favorite beverage is as well. And let's get to it. In the beginning. So who ruled hell before Lucifer? <laughs> or was hell created specifically for Lucifer? And he's got a really nice car. Is that a 658 Corvette? This is a 58 Corvette. So, what are Lucer's, Lucifer's power set? <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. Lucifer's power set, Lucifer's power set, Lucifer's power set. No. You know why I pulled you over? Well, obviously you felt the need to exercise your limited powers and punish me for ignoring the speed limit. It's okay, I understand. <laughs> So I, I like to punish people too. <laughs> License and registration. Are you trying to bribe me, sir? Yes, of course. <laughs> Is that not enough? <laughs> no, it's any money. It's against the law. You break the law sometimes, don't you? I see how I'm missing it. Sometimes. Put my siren on and drive really fast for no reason at all. Oh. Feels good to get away with something, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> People like to tell me things. It's a gift. Must be something about this place. It is quite charming. Hey, boss. Boss as in the actual boss or being just facetious like chief. Where have you been? So boss boss? Thank you, Patrick. You can go. <laughs> wow. Well, hello, Patrick. Full service. For the Lord of Hell for crying out loud. I'm a tired maze. I've got nothing but time. Somebody there. Your return to the underworld has been requested. By whom? He, who, who, two, yes. <sighs> Look, remind dad that I quit hell because I was sick and tired of playing a part in his play. You are a mockery of everything divine. Thank you. What exactly do you think happens when the devil leaves hell? All of those demons, all of those tormented and tortured souls, where do you think they go? Don't know. Don't care. Not my problem, brother. And you, my feathered friend, can go to hell. Oh. You know, 
He will not be merciful for much longer. I think he's going to be merciful for six seasons. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Remember me? So famous, aren't you? Delilah, isn't it? There's something I need to know. Did I sell my soul to the devil? Well, that would imply the devil's actually interested in your soul. Look, all I did was introduce you to a few key people who owed me favors, that's all. Oh, God, I'm a mess. God has nothing to do with your mess. You didn't sell your soul, Delilah. You do owe me a favor. Because what I'm about to ask you is going to be quite difficult for you. Pull yourself together. That's it. That's all I'm asking. For real? You're wasting your talent, your life. I'm going to do as you asked. I'm going to get it together. I promise, Lucifer. And then what happens if he doesn't? What happens now? That's up to you. What? Hmm. Well, this is her getting her life together and who? Wait, what? Ooh. Well, she's dead. She is dead. Wait, and if he, she, maybe not have sold her soul, does she go to hell? Oh, no, 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 not yet. Why did you end her life? Why else? Why else? Money. From who? Hey, man, I just pulled the trigger. Why? Like, why, why? As in, who paid him? Oh, is this where the mystery detectiveness comes into play? I am intrigued. So where's the driver? Wanna hear what I've got so far? Lieutenant said this is my case. Oh, hey! Who's he, what's it? Jesus! True blood, right? Right! And Delilah's purse, so obviously drug-related. She probably owed him a bunch of cash or something. How do you know he's low level? Look at his car. Did you look at his watch? There's gonna be a lot of attention on this one, Chloe. I wouldn't pick at it too hard. Not after Palmetto Street. I asked for this case because of Palmetto Street, Dan. So we're gonna learn about Palmetto Street later? Any witnesses? Just what? Lucifer, Morning Star. Is that uh, a stage name or something? God given, I'm afraid. Waka, waka, waka. You look familiar. Have we met before? So you had a conversation with the dead guy? Oh, no, he wasn't quite dead. His soul hadn't crossed the threshold. I see. Did he tell you why he did it? Why, money, of course. You humans, you love your money, don't you? So he's just straight out signifying he... thing you know not other like he may be other or he's looking at humans as humans how does she end up dying in a hailstorm of bullets and you get away without a scratch the benefits of immortality yeah he's straight up saying i'm lucifer what will your corrupt little organization do about this will you find the person responsible will they be punished will this be a priority for you because it is for me you got some balls on you pal oh thank you very much but they're really quite average Matt, I could swear I've seen you naked. Have we had sex? We're done here. Detective, wait. Someone out there needs to be punished. We're not done. Yeah. Yeah, we are. No. Because he's going to say no. <laughs> well, uh, there is anyone oh. here that would oppose this holy union. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> how incredibly jaw-droppingly <laughs> loin-stirringly beautiful this young woman is and how <laughs> short sweaty and altogether fugly this homunculus is this the producer <sighs> yeah good luck with that padre oh while you're at it say hey from me it's been a while <laughs> you do remember me don't you yeah yeah i remember you did did was did Lu lucifer owed him a favor again it's hard to be rejected isn't it jimmy twice <laughs> So come on, what do you say, Jimbo, huh? Did you want her dead? Wow, wow, he's just, okay, very direct, ain't he? 
No, of course not. I was furious and I was humiliated when she dumped me, but I think I... I think I've rebounded pretty well. It's clearly respect. <laughs> Sorry, how rude. Allow me to introduce myself. I really don't want to have sex with him tonight. I'm sorry, I... Uh, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Marrying Wait. this human <laughs> staying because you're actually in love with him, right? Oh, God, no. no. Great. Well, I, love she's, I really don't want to have sex with him tonight. As if that's the only night. <laughs> and she's marrying him forever. Yes, I'm here to see the man sadly known as Too Vile, is he? Sorry, sir, he's unavailable. He's in mourning, I'm afraid. Right. I have no context for him. Right this way, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is him in mourning. Okay, sure. Can someone please turn down this god awful music? Lucifer Morning Star. <laughs> That's a good hip hop name. Well, that offends me. You don't like hip hop? No, I certainly so <laughs> do not. Well, that if it's me. <laughs> you have a problem with black people? Mm -mm. Not in the slightest. I just hate your music. <laughs> and when I say your music, I mean your music, not the music <laughs> made by other black people. <laughs> if you're looking to get yourself killed. Oh, please, pumpkins. Please. Tell me about Delilah. Bitch is dead. Ooh. I didn't kill her. Why should I believe you? <laughs> because I love the girl. All right. Mm -hmm. Girl made me crazy. Women can do that. Doesn't mean you should beat them up, does it? We worked that out a long time ago. I had her once because I found out she was cheating on me. Wow, Delilah has had some history. Some uh, uh, rich married guy. Well, does she have a friend that she might have confided she in? A therapist. She sees some uh, uh, doctor, Linda, in, in Beverly Hills. Saw her like five times a week on the DL. Five times a week? Five times a week on the DL. Used a fake name, but obviously she's Delilah, so how? LAPD, guns down, on the floor, down. <laughs> Detective, welcome to the party. <laughs> Get there so I quickly. The guy's cell phone. Too vile was the last person he called. <laughs> what? What? So everyone on Eddie's phone's a suspect? <laughs> Are you joking? No. What you that take from that film? Hmm? What's this? What film? The T movie. I forget oh, what it's called. Of course, Hot Tub High School. That's where I know you're from. Yeah. That was quite a nude scene. I have far too many bullets in this thing for you to still be talking. You stay put. You, you're coming with me. Huh? Oh. <laughs> with pleasure. <laughs> right, I can get out of this, you know. Funny. How'd you do that? Because I'm Lucifer Morning Star. Come on, I'll help you. It'll be fun. How could you possibly help me? It'll be fun. <laughs> You're psychic or something? No, I can't read people's minds. I'm not a Jedi. I have the ability to draw out people's forbidden desires. The more simple the human, the easier it is. The more complex, the more challenging and exciting, really. But no, the actual sins, the, the sins are on you people. You people. Humans. What do you desire more than anything else in this life? This is it? This is your big trick? <sighs> I guess... When I was a little girl, I... Is she faking this? I always wanted to be a cop like my daddy, so that... that this here's a little fake. And be taken seriously when I say to shut up and get in the damn car. His trick doesn't work on her. I should say power. See if Delilah was a client. No, actually, she had a pseudonym, which I also happen to know. I'm quite good at this, aren't I? Uh, Penny Lane. Is that her only pseudonym? Thanks. <laughs> that looks so smug. <laughs> so is the, uh, is the movie why you've got such a chip on your shoulder? Attractive female cop struggling to be taken seriously in a man's man's world, that it? Yeah, something like that. 
It's something that happened on Palmetto, Palmetto Lane when I'm gonna call it Palmetto. <laughs> what? You're kidding me. Is she okay? Oh, of course he's not there. Taking this is her daughter. Who's supposed to be with dad? Well, can't she get herself home? She's seven. Look, I'm not here to help you run errands. I'm here to help you solve a homicide. Really? She could let you off on the side of the road. Wait here. With pleasure. Despise children. Hmm. Interesting. We guess that there's no smoking on school grounds. smoke in here. My mother is a police officer. She could arrest you. I think I might know your mother. What's your name? Lucifer. Like an apple. Exactly. My name's Beatrice, but everybody calls me Trixie. That's a hooker's name. <laughs> What's a hooker? Ask your mother. <laughs> Ask your mother. <laughs> Why are you in trouble? She was blowing me. She created a fake Snapchat account and used it to make fun of me. What? So, I keep learning a new touch truck swear. I see. Well played. Hello, mean girl. <laughs> Did you know there's a special section of hell reserved for bullies? So, have fun. That Get you kicked off of school grounds. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Oh, <gasps> wait, what? Wait, what? Right, like I'm not working a case too. Oh yeah, the one you tried to steal from me. You did open and shut it, right? She is smart. You're the dimwit. Perhaps you should refrain from arguing in front of the child. It's unbecoming. I don't know whether to laugh or to shoot you. Surprise me. Isn't he funny, Daddy? Trixella, can you mommy a kiss? Trixella. Oh, Beatrice is her name. Okay. Mommy, what's a hooker? <laughs> Daddy will tell you. Why is she and her ex-husband still on the same squat? <laughs> she likes you. Of course she does. What's not to like? <laughs> Was your offspring planned or a mistake? Speaking of dicks, why was that ex-husband of yours pressuring you to close the case? No reason. Did my father send you? Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering that. Myself. Detectives. Detectives. <laughs> You're thinking about it, aren't you? I'm like walking heroin, very habit-forming. It never ends well. Do you two know each other? No, no, but I know that look. You don't look at me that way. I tend to appeal to the dark, mischievous hearts in all of you, but you, detective, you seem oddly immune to my charms. Truth be told, I find you repulsive. It's fascinating. Linda. You say it's fascinating, and yet I can see that it disturbs you, doesn't it? Yes, it does greatly. Dr. Martin, we know that um, Delilah was having a clandestine affair with a wealthy married man, so if you just tell us... I don't think she can! Right, I can't do that. Oh, she's one of the complex ones. I want to, but I can't. <laughs> oh, you're the devil. <laughs> <laughs> right, the answer is yes. We can take a trip to Pound Town if we must. But first... You're gonna have to tell us, Linda, okay? Um, okay. <laughs> it's Grey Cooper. <gasps> that is juicy. Grey Cooper, the actor, the one who's married to Amanda whats a chops Yeah. Oh, he's married, okay. Oh, I'm really quite disappointed in Delilah. That's truly terrible taste in the opposite sex. Yes, yeah, she seems to. Although we haven't met Grey yet, but she seems to so far. <laughs> yes, of course, but I, I made a deal, so I'm gonna have to hold up my end of the bargain. You wouldn't mind waiting outside. Are you seriously talking about having sex with her right now? Well, it won't take long. I do yoga. 
heart yoga. Wanna see? <gasps> wow! <sighs> really tried to keep that one in. We well, tried, that's what matters. <laughs> I will be back, okay? I certainly hope so. My word is my bond. Is it? I say as in, hmm, is it now? Hmm. He's ruined that shot, but ooh. That's not Grey Cooper. No, it's the stunt man. Heard about that this morning. I can't believe it. Well, those stunt guy and him look pretty damn close. Friends. Friends who are lovers. Settle down. I'll handle the questions. Well, actually, I just have one more question before you proceed with the boring ones. Tell me. What do you want to more? What are your desires? I'm the president of the United States of America. Good God. Ha, <laughs> Now, you wouldn't want any nasty secrets screwing that up for you, though, would you? Mr. Cooper, were you having an affair with Delilah? Honey, you've been getting my texts? I thought they were breaking you so much. Like Vicky! <laughs> Vampire Diaries. Very sad. Your watch, where'd you get that? From the same... No, that's the one Delilah gave me, isn't it? <gasps> Time will tell. Right. Same watch, it's got okay. You know you're going to have to get much better at lying if you want to be president. I know, right? So you were sleeping with her then? And paid off the shooter yeah. with the watch? <laughs> Whatever, it's not like I didn't know. God, you are a terrible liar. An actor, by the way. You knew? Of course. Why else do you think I've been sleeping with Bobby? Who's Bobby? <gasps> Bobby! <gasps> oh! One of them's got to be guilty. We took a twist. Gray and Amanda have zero connection to the shooter. But they have the same watch. God, what am I doing here? Wrong deity, but yes, that is the eternal. That is kind of funny that you're hypersensitive in this show to every time somebody says the word God, even though it's thrown around freely. Decided to become a cop like my dad and uh, dealt with the whole hot tub high school thing <laughs> until um, I became a detective and found a whole new way to ostracize myself. Palmetto. A shooting on Palmetto Street where a cop was shot. And I saw it differently than pretty much everyone in my department, including my ex. And I stuck my neck out and it backfired. Now, <laughs> no one wants to work with me. Too bad your little protege isn't around to collect the check. The soundtrack album for the movie Time Will Tell has reached number 15 on the Billboard chart. <gasps> so who does collect the check? This is an extreme reason to, to make some money. Hello, Jimmy. Really? How's the album sales doing? Not sure you'll achieve such heights having Delilah killed, but that sure is a boatload of royalty checks headed your way. Which is why you had to pay the shooter with your watch. Oh, <gasps> what? Wait, what? She humiliated me. She owes me. You're not God, Jimmy. You didn't make her. Oh, I did. So I'm going to punish you. You back off, you freak. I mean it. No, Lucifer, back off. I told you it's fine. I'm immortal. He was going to kill you. No, 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 no. You just, you just let him off too easy. Oh. He needs to pay, he needs to suffer, he needs to feel the pain. To be tortured. Don't worry, I'm sure where he's going, the pain's coming. No, no, it's not. Because I'm not there. Because I'm here. And <gasps> Who shot her? <gasps> he shot her. I don't want to die. I won't let you. How? Your father will just have to wait for you. Give me one second. Please don't kill me. What do you think you were doing? 
Told you, immortal. You're having a very hard time with the immortal thing, aren't you? Thank you. You're welcome. And besides, you know, you were far too interesting to let die. You save my life because I'm interesting. Well, wildly irritating as well, but yes. I know this is a TV show, but I need her to look a little bit more comatose, not so fresh-faced and spunky. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Exactly. I told you. I'm Lucifer! <laughs> oh! I've been watching you, Lucifer. Mm-hmm. Huh? And I'm not sure I like what I see. Lucifer, there is a balance here that we must maintain. I strongly suggest you do what I told you to do and go back to hell. I mean, you don't want to start a war. I would love a war. I look forward to eating your heart one day. Peace. Simon Dell, is he an angel or is he a an demon? I guess we'll find out later for certain. I just can't understand why you would save a human life. Something different about it that I don't quite understand and it vexes me. I love that word. I need to say it more often. It vexes. I'm worried the humans are rubbing off on you. Stop caring. You're the devil. Yes, I am. Okay, right, here's the deal. We can have as much naked cuddle time as you desire, but you're gonna have to listen to me too. You know, just a, an existential dilemma or two. <laughs> deal? Yes. Lovely. That was a humdinger of a pilot. I can see why it was snapped up. So many things that are just right up my alley, starting with first and foremost, snappy dialogue. The dialogue was great. And I'm wondering how much of it was on the page or how much of it was just improv because there was so much of it and it was so sharp and it was so witty, but also very natural. Tom Ellis, charming as hell. However, will the just no filter charming boyishnesses of him, will that wear on me or will it smooth out and not be so much? Or is it just something I'm just gonna eat up like a box of Girl Scout cookies that I have upstairs? Now, when you hear the concept of the show, Lucifer on earth solving crimes and therapy, you wonder how this pulled it together rather well. So it wasn't so disjointed. It made, it made sense. Somebody dear to him, murdered, wants to solve her case, which led to the therapist. And he realized, hmm, maybe I do have some issues to work out. Again, feels natural, which is the best kind of storytelling. Was, even when the wacky feels natural. I love that. And maybe it's because it's winter and I'm in the Pacific Northwest, but I love the sun. Even the dark scenes <laughs> still felt sunny to me. And I really enjoyed that. <laughs> so I'm excited to see where we're going next and how it grows and everybody starts to come together. Do they come together? Do they bounce off of each other? Six seasons, what is the major arc of all six seasons? I'm curious to know, don't tell me, but I'm very intrigued and interested in seeing it play out. So thank you all, thanks so far. Thank you so far so good for recommending this to me because I know we got a, a lot more episodes to go. So I do want you with me for that adventure because we just started. So if you haven't already hit subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And in the meantime, please take care of yourselves if you haven't already, this is your reminder to stand up, 
walk around the room, go grab a Girl Scout cookie, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.